Confidence in the manufacturing sector has recovered in the fourth quarter with the Bureau for Economic Research's quarterly manufacturing survey adding 11 index points to 41. But although the results reflect an improvement in demand, profitability among manufacturers remains under pressure. Joining us from our Cape Town studio with more is Nkanyeso Khlongwa, economist at the Bureau for Economic Research. Nkanyeso, thanks so much for joining us today. Things are looking slightly better in the fourth quarter. A far cry from what we saw in 2009. We were sitting at around 10 index points and uh, even further away from uh, the high hits in 2007 of 80 points. But things looking better, at least for now. Yes, yes indeed. Things have, have sort of picked up. Um, if you remember that in the first quarter, we saw a pullback of uh, nine index points to 28. And after the sort of tapering off during the past two quarters, we've seen a strong comeback in the fourth quarter. Can you, so of course, we had uh, PMI numbers coming out yesterday, rising above 50 uh, for last month to 52.9. That followed a, a pretty dismal September and October. Would you, would you put your, your survey in line with what we're seeing coming through on the PMI front as well? Yes, indeed. There is quite a, a good uh, relationship in the same direction. Um, if you look at the PMI, obviously going back into expansionary mode um, at about 50 index points. And so the manufacturing survey has also told us that uh, we're expecting the fourth quarter to be a bit stronger. And although the past couple of months were a bit weak on the PMI side, uh, there was a slight increase um, heading to just below 50. And now we've seen that continue past 50. Mm -hmm. uh, the manufacturing survey as well was moved from 28 to 30 and then has now picked up to 41 index points. So there is quite a, a significant uh, rise from the manufacturing side and mm. both results do mirror that, that reality. Uh, interesting to note that exports also showed quite a nice recovery, uh, namely the transport machinery, chemical and base metals industries. Uh, interesting to note though that the prices came under slight pressure, which is a little bit of a divergence from what we saw with the, the PMI that was released yesterday. Yes, indeed. Uh, look, the export selling prices, for example, uh, as much are very determined by a lot of other factors. So we look at the low global inflation, mainly to our exporting partners, the strong rand exchange rate. So we've seen a lot of imports and export competition, um, depending whether you're looking at domestic or the export market. But uh, all, all in all, I mean, profitability will continue to remain under pressure. And if you look at possibly one of the reasons why we saw such a strong pullback in, in exports is the manufacturers uh, being able now to, to send some of their volumes through at a lower cost in order to maintain some of their export market share. So we do see that, but yet again, I think the fact that we're still seeing continued volume growth uh, in the export sector, especially after the impact of the strikes in August and September has dissipated is a good indicator of, of what we're seeing in the export market. And can you so how about uh, local demand and also capacity within the sector? Are we still sitting with excess capacity? Well, from the survey, the indicator for capacity utilization, that, that fell not or capacity under utilization rather, that fell from uh, 81 to I think about 79. Uh, what that said, what that informs us is that you've got uh, less people reporting that their capacity is underutilized, and that's in line again with what you're seeing in the export market, with export demand growth, with the domestic demand growth, and that falling into the production volumes growth. So all in all, we're seeing the same, or what would be expected, uh, if you're seeing higher production volumes, and that's what we're seeing from from the capacity utilization side. Mm. Can you also looking ahead? It seems that there is a little bit of caution looking into uh, the next year, and particularly into the next 12 months. Uh, particularly coming through for fixed investments in machinery and the likes of equipment as well. The strong rand also being quite a big issue. And when we say that there is going to be cautiousness, what kind of levels do you expect into 2011? Well. Currently, based on what manufacturers are saying, I mean, if you look at the, the business confidence uh, looking at 12 months' time, that, that's, that has pulled back from what it's currently at. Uh, and there's a lot of, if, if you look at demand volumes, for example, expected in the first quarter, that's still positive, but it's lower than what we experience now. So those factors sort of allude to the fact that manufacturers are a bit uncertain about what the environment is going to be like going forward. And we've been told by many analysts, and we do believe it ourselves, that the current recovery is very uncertain and very fragile. 
which would be informing why manufacturers are as uncertain as they are about the current production going forward. Can you say, do you think that uh, manufacturers are learning to live with the stronger rand? Because, of course, we have had it trading uh, for most of the, the past couple of months around that seven rand level. Do you think that they are living with that and they, they will uh, learn to become profitable with the rand at these levels? It's difficult to say. Um, I mean, looking at our profit indicator, Duraf profitability indicator that, that we put together, currently profitability is at its lowest level uh, based on the indicator since 2000. Um, which is the number of years that we have on record. Uh, I do think that some of the manufacturers might be readjusting their costs uh, on that side, but in order to maintain their market share. But in terms of the sustainability of, of profits being so low and cost, costs increasing or remaining elevated, while selling the rate of increase in selling prices is not really picking up to recover most of their profitability, it, 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 it becomes a, a difficult issue to contend with, especially for some of the manufacturers. Uh, I think looking at how the situation is now going forward, you'll still see for at least the short term some manufacturers negotiating their increases in selling prices to maintain their volume growth. But in terms of how it's going to be in 12 months time, it could possibly be informing why the manufacturers are uncertain because the conditions might deteriorate or might get better based on the numbers we're going to have for the next 12 months.